Merry Christmas, Fair Hill Church. We are the Bradshaw family, your uh, missionaries from Alaska to Brazil. Um, we are currently candidating, driving around, and raising support. We're currently in South Carolina. Um, we just thank you so much for this opportunity to be able to get a share of this Advent season with you. Um, we just we just thank you so much for keeping us in your thoughts and your prayers, and we just really enjoy being part of your family. And it's just it's just been wonderful, very encouraging. So thank you for this honor to be able to get to be part of spending this service time and worship and wonderful time of fellowship in the Lord. So, December 22nd, 2019. This is week four, and it's the candle of peace. Of all the things mankind sought after, perhaps the most elusive is the search for peace. It's been proclaimed and demanded. It's been suggested and commanded. We've sent people to war, fighting to obtain it and retain it and maintain it. To war for peace? Doesn't that seem strange? No stranger than it must have seemed when God sent a conquering Messiah to the world via a, a humble stable in Bethlehem. We've always assumed that peace would come in power. God brought us peace wrapped in swaddling clothes, the picture of humility and meekness. This promised king was to be no ordinary ruler, no typical leader. The prophet Isaiah said that this child born would be a prince of peace, one for whom there would be no end to the increase of peace he would bring. Yet, we live in a world of growing turmoil and discord, where we're given more reasons to draw lines of division and separations. This kind of peace seems like an impossible dream instead of a potential reality. But the peace Jesus brought was more than just the end of war and disagreements, <clears throat> more than helping two sides reach admissible solutions. Jesus. On, ushered in something about peace no one had ever known. He brought us peace that makes things whole. Peace which consoles and completes. Peace which speaks calm when everything else whispers worry. Peace which seeks to understand instead of being understood. Peace which restores relationships and doesn't just mitigate them. Paul wrote, this Messiah has made things up between us so that we're now together on this. He tore down the wall we used to keep each other at a distance. Ephesians 2.14 Jesus made a way for everyone to restore to the Father and to each other to bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. This is such good news. Perhaps we begin defining peace, the perfect shalom of God. As Jesus introduced it, we will discover that God has always provided what the world's been looking for. As we light the candle of peace, we remember that with his birth, death, and resurrection, Jesus became our peace and broke down walls we should not work to rebuild. Though we continue to wait for the return of Christ, when he will reign and peace will reign with him, we can choose in our advent to live into Jesus' admission to be peacemakers. Not peacekeepers who are working to protect a false peace where there is no peace, but those who create and make peace with others through reconciliation, grace, and love. So let's pray. Gracious Father, we have too often settled for the promise of peace instead of the practice of it. Though G through Jesus, you gave us not only complete restoration, but also the gift of reconciliation. Which we now share with the world. May we be instruments of your peace wherever we go, representing the Prince of Peace who came that the world might be whole 
In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you very much. God All bless right. you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Fairhill Church. Thank you.